Hey guys, thank you so much for helping me hit a thousand subscribers on YouTube. And as a thank you, I want to make this video and show you guys about this cool free shortlisting tool that you can use to shortlist universities when you apply to college. And that's it, that's the intro. Okay, so let's get started. All right, so the website is called gyandan.com. Okay, so it's sort of like a first education financing platform. I don't know, I haven't really explored it much. So they have something called Admit Predictor and that's what we're interested in. They also have something called an SOP review, but no, it's, it's not a good SOP review, <laughs> mine's better. Okay, so we go to Admit Predictor and here we are. So it's like a profile evaluation tool, right? So you have to, here you have to enter in all your details, your email, phone number, GRE scores, English scores, academic record, target course, and then any, any sort of additional information. And then you just sort of evaluate and that's it. So that's exactly what we're gonna do, right? I'm gonna put in all my information and then you guys will be able to see, you know, how the whole process works. So first I'll put in my email address and then they need phone number and then they'll send you an OTP. So you gotta get, so you gotta enter the OTP once it comes. Next, we have to submit our GRE scores and then English scores and so on. So yes, I've taken the GRE. So I'll just put in my scores real quick. Academic record, okay. And then undergrad, so you have to put in your undergrad major. So this is mainly for students from India. So that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna put in my undergrad school, undergrad major, and then postgrad major. So again, I'm gonna put in the postgrad major. So now you gotta select dream school, right? So for dream school, the thing is they don't have all the universities. For example, they don't have Stanford University, right? So they don't have Massachusetts, uh, they don't have MIT either. Right, so they don't seem to have Harvard, but so they don't have like a lot of the universities, but they do have a good solid amount, right? So for example, they have Carnegie Mellon University, right, as a dream school, right? So we can also try some other things. They have Pennsylvania State and they have University of Pennsylvania. So I'm just gonna put in Carnegie Mellon and as a dream school, okay? Now click on evaluate. And then they sort of tell you, okay, so this is your percentage of getting in, right? You have like a 42% chance of getting in to, to Carnegie Mellon University, right? So then they would say, okay, so ensure that your work experience and project work are of high quality and so on. And then they have input parameters, they have all the things here. So then they, they suggest some safe schools, okay? So they have like University of Arizona, Rutgers University, Johns Hopkins, Maryland College Park, and then moderate schools. So Illinois, Michigan, Ann Arbor, Purdue and then Carnegie Mellon again. So this would, so they say that this is sort of like a moderate school for me, okay? And for ambitious schools, they have Stanford, MIT, Berkeley, and Caltech, right? So they, so the thing is guys, this is a decent tool, okay? I would not say this is the best tool ever, and I would not say this is 100% accurate and stuff, but it sort of gives you something to work with, right? So suppose that, you know, they've given me, okay, so these are like, these are your safe schools, these are your um, these are your moderate schools and so on. Okay, so suppose I have you know this list of safe schools, and I want to find other schools that you know are like similarly safe for me. So all I have to do is go to topuniversities.com, and then go to rankings, uh, universe, world university rankings. You know, yeah, beautiful results. All right, and then okay, so I just what I do is okay, I agree. So what I do is I just simply search for these universities and then find universities with similar ranking. Okay, so for example, let's try University of Arizona first. So Arizona, right? So Arizona, they see here, okay, we have like a 273 ranking for University of Arizona. Then let's try Rutgers, right? So Rutgers, also around 258. Maryland College Park. So I try Maryland College Park around 152. And Johns Hopkins. Johns Hopkins is 25. So this seems to be the outlier here. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna neglect Johns Hopkins and then we're gonna try the other three. So you remember that Arizona is like around 270, Rutgers around 250 ranking and Maryland is on 150. So it seems my safety school rankings would be around 150 to 250, right? So all I have to do is just simply delete all this and then go to universities that fall under that particular ranking. So I'm gonna put in 100 per page and then I'm going to go into my second page and let's start at 150, right? So first I'm gonna, I'm gonna change location to just the United States. United States. Okay, and then we're gonna find 150. Okay, so 150, you can see the Maryland College Park here. So for everything from 150 to let's say around University of Arizona, 273. So around this region would be like a safety university for me, right? So that means Texas A&M, University of Florida, Michigan State, Dartmouth, University of Notre Dame, Arizona State, all these guys would be my safety universities, right? 
Similarly, I'll go do the same for moderate and I can do the same for ambitious as well, right? So ambitious, you know, they have like MIT here as MIT is of course number one and we have Stanford at number two. Berkeley would fall in somewhere here. Berkeley is 30. Caltech would be also somewhere here, I believe, right? So four. So this range or like one to 30 would be like, you know, my area of dream universities. So UPenn, you know, Columbia, Cornell, even Michigan. So Michigan's the outlier here, right? So they can, you can see how Michigan falls under the dream university category ranking here, uh, here, but then they have put it under a moderate school. So, you know, like I said, it's not a perfect tool, but it gives you like a decent start with which you can start shortlisting universities. And that's it. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. Leave a like if this video helped you in any way and subscribe if you want to stay up to date with graduate study related information. That's it from me for now and I'll see you later. Bye.